Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's Etta. Um, I say good morning because it's morning for me. Uh, just to show you, it is super early. It is only 524. And that is my beautiful Graceland, my granddaughter. Um, that was a picture that we took a while back. Anyways, uh, super early in the morning, like I said. And um, I have been under the weather. You may be able to hear it in my voice. I'm still kind of... Uh, I guess nasally right because uh i got hit with i'm assuming bad allergies that's that's the assumption i'm making the day i started feeling really bad i was talking to my husband and he's like oh yeah somebody somebody said today that um that they had tested positive for you know covid and i was like i was like you better not have brought that home to me <laughs> I don't go anywhere I shouldn't be catching that um, but I'm I'm guessing that it is allergies and I'm just suffering with allergies and I had a little bit of a reprieve yesterday the temperature kind of dropped again and I think it kind of maybe tamed some of the stuff that's causing allergies and stuff so I wasn't feeling as bad yesterday so um, if you see me like reach for the mic and all of a sudden there's no sound, it's because I maybe had a coughing fit, fit or sneezing and you don't want to hear me sneeze. I sneeze like my father did. Like Larry's actually told me before, warn me please before you sneeze because like, I scare the bejeebers out of him, right? I am one of those people that sneeze very loud. I can't help it. I cannot stop that. Um, again, like, like I said, I got that from my father. So... If I have to mute it, that's why. So, um, because I've been feeling so bad, I hadn't checked the mail or anything. And yesterday I was in the pantry and I happened to see the postal person go by. And I said, oh, let me see what they drop off in the box. Because I was waiting for a um, vendor order. And um, was it yesterday? Monday. No, Tuesday. My days are just, it had to have been yesterday. Yeah, it would have been yesterday, Tuesday. And um, I saw that when they went to, I could see that it was like a, you know, like a little pamphlet-y card thing. Let me show you. I've got, this is the thing from um, Pharmacist Order, but something like this, right? A little thing like this. And she was having a hard time putting it in the mailbox, and I thought, why is she having a hard time putting it in the mailbox? It's just one little card. And so I told Larry, I said, Larry, can you go check the mail? I'm like, you know, it could have been the vendor order that I was waiting for, but I expected the postal person to deliver. So I was like, I don't know. But, you know, can you go check the mailbox? Because she's having a hard time getting something in there, which means there's got to be something bigger in there blocking it. So he walks up to the door and I can see this. And I'm like, a Scentsy box? I'm like, I'm like, my, um, at that point I was like, my club hasn't even shipped. I'm like, I don't, I'm not expecting anything from Scentsy. And he walks in the door and he says, Kim Mellish? Whether or not we're saying your name or correct, Kim, I'm not sure. But, and I was like, what? I said, Kim sent me a box? Oh, that is so sweet. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Kim. And so I proceeded to um, send her a message on um, Facebook Messenger to tell her thank you for the gift. And I told her I was going to wait until I did the video to open it. Um, just, you know, I, I know I, I like to see what other people got. And there's a certain ex excitement or there's a certain... Uh, pleasure to watching the excite excitement from the person getting it too right like when you're it'd be like if somebody had already opened up their gift and then they you know it and then they open it up in front of you it's it's not quite the same so i wanted to go ahead and open this here with y'all so let me tear this box uh, cut the tape here i'm probably doing it on the wrong side but i didn't want to do it on the side that has um Kim's and my address. So let me do it on the side that does not. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, I see that she sent me some bars. Thank you so much. And they're upside down. <laughs> because obviously I got it from the bottom. So actually I'm going to turn it this side and let them all 
land on the table and pick the box back up and do that. All right, so there's a card from Kim. Thank you, Kim. Oh, look at that. Just in time for St. Patrick's Day, too. Of course, it would have been if, you know, by because obviously it had gotten delivered on Monday, but we didn't check the mail on Monday. And I'm trying not to tear the little thing. That's me. That's that's who I am. All right, and I did not tear him. He's still in good shape. I will enjoy. I am sure I will, Kim. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Really, thank you. All right, so first thing here is a clam from... Uh, looks like it's a soulinspiration.com. So soul inspiration. I had never even heard of them. Awesome. Shaving a haircut. Bergamot, fresh, clean notes, and cedarwood. Oh, that sounds awesome. And I love the, uh, let's see if I can get this close enough where you can see it. It looks like the colors are gorgeous. They are. That is nice. Almost like a, a sea foamy kind of a green with like a gray. I'm hoping I can smell it. I might not be able to smell it as it may not come out as pronounced on the scent to me right now because my sinuses are so messed up. Which is, um, if you saw, if you happen to see my video on a, like a, it was a new to me vendor with a lot of like manly different kind of scents. I did start doing that, but I kind of stopped because once I got sick, I was like, nope, I don't want to do any sense that I'm not going to be able to smell. And more so not because I lost my sense of smell, but because, you know, you're so congested, I'm clogged up. If I'm clogged up, I can't smell anything. This is awesome. I love that bergamot in there. That is really, really nice. I'm trying to get this out without breaking it. Probably won't be able to. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's like, oh, I think it's, I think it's heavy on the bergamot and, and I feel like I can smell the cedar wood and then yeah, the fresh clean notes, whatever those may be. That smells really, really good. Like that. Thank you. Then there's one from the pharmacist's daughter called Cozy Fall Evenings. S'mores, cupcakes at Tiffany's, warm vanilla sugar, Marshmallow Fireside and Toasted Marshmallow. Ooh, that sounds really, really good. Really good. I may put this in the pantry today if I can, if I feel like I'm going to be able to smell it. Oh, I can smell this one really well. I'm definitely getting the s'mores. I'm getting the the marshmallow from I think both toasted and uh, marshmallow fireside. This smells really good, sweet but not overly sweet. Oh, that smells really really good. I I I love the idea of putting this in the pantry, having like a coffee scent in one of the warmers and a little bit of this in the other one. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh wow. <laughs> Sorry, so the next thing caught my attention. I was like, wait a minute. Um, this is the bathing garden, and it says love coffee. Yeah, Kim, you know how much I love coffee scents. Oh, wow. So love coffee, which I do. And speaking of, I have my coffee here. I'm going to take a sip just to make sure my throat is coated so that hopefully I don't have a coughing fit. Mmm. Delicious. All right. Oh, look at that. How pretty. I saw some like gold and I thought it was just going to be like a little lasso-y thing of gold. But no, it's actually um, the gold spells out the word love. And I love it. Thank you. Oh, I can smell the coffee in here. Kim, just out of curiosity, if you happen to see this, um... How old would you say this bar is? Because I do tend to like to let my bathing garden garden sit for a really long time. And I don't want to warm it if it's relatively fresh. Even though I feel like I can smell the coffee. I'm trying to get it out without breaking it because it's too pretty. 
I can definitely smell the coffee. Oh, so pretty. Look at that. The bathing garden uh, pieces are always so beautiful. All right, I'm going to wait and see if I don't, because, um, you know, Kim may be extremely busy and doesn't have time to watch videos and doesn't happen to see this for a while. So I may message you, Kim, and ask you about the one from the bathing garden. And, oh, my goodness. Mm, Kim? <sighs> okay. So the, the rest of what's in here are Scentsy Bars. I happened to mention that I only picked up one from the Bring Back My Bar of Simply Patchouli. And so Kim sent me another one. Thank you so much. Because I was, I actually, I think I already put the other one to the side and thought, you know, since I only have one, I'm going to leave it for the fall. But now that I have two... I may try to play around with one of them and do some mixing for my bedroom. I got to figure out what, because when I say this room is a disaster, I mean, it, no, it's a disaster. <laughs> I have boxes here from other things that I've purchased that, you know, if it's like Scentsy, I've been stacking it in a box. I, I tried to start organizing. I started pulling out stuff from that box that was fall winter and I brought it to the dining room table because I have those little cubby things over there and I wanted to add them to that haven't done it because I haven't been feeling good and just tired and whatever lazy whatever the case may be and I've got I've I've been trying to organize the wax better trying to find uh, a way to organize it so that it doesn't look so messy in here but right now it's one of those, it gets messier before it gets better. Right now it's in that it's messier. So mm. so I have to figure out what I might want to mix with. God, this Simply Patchouli smells really, really good. I love it. Uh, what I might want to mix with it to try in my bedroom. And then, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I, I think, I think it's in my club. I think, I'm almost positive I did put it in my club. Peony Petals. I loved it. I thought it was so good. And speaking of um, like mixing, you know me, I love to mix everything, right? Like I I enjoy doing it by itself. Like simply but truly, I probably won't, although I might try one cube like in the bathroom, in the half bath, just to see what it smells like by itself. But after that, I generally love to mix things, right? Just to play around and have fun. Well, one day I wanted to do the peony petals in the, where did I do it? In the dining room? No, sunroom. I think it was sunroom. <laughs> I'm a little confused because it was, it was probably like two weeks ago. And um, I wanted to do peony petals, but I also have a Yankee Candle warmer in there. And at the time, at the time, I had the um, hot plate warmer that I had gotten from Aldi. Hi. I had that in there. And just to show you, I always talk about the um, metal dishes that I have for the hot plate warmers that I like to use. You know, um, where's the other ones? I think the normal size, they're, they're little smaller tin dishes. These are the ones that I have. They're huge, okay? They're huge. And so it fits the, I mean, even this one is even small for this hot plate. I mean, it still has room, but it's huge. So I had this in on my desk in the sunroom, and I moving stuff around doing different things my husband and I were doing some stuff in the kitchen so I wind up taking the candle crock out of the kitchen um and I moved that to my desk because I was like I, I want to use it because it works really well with certain waxes for me so I just brought that in here part of the mess that I have to figure out what I'm doing 
and I have the candle crock in there. So, but at the time I had this hot plate warmer and the Yankee in the sunroom along with some Scentsy warmers. Boy, I'm just like rambling and rambling. Anyways, so I wanted to do peony petals one day and I was like, what can, what can I do in the hot plate and in the Yankee that's not Scentsy so that these go in the Scentsy warmers. That's how I like to do things. And I looked around, looked around, and I realized that from um, Lavender and Speckles, though it was called uh, Raining Lorelei, but now it's like Peony, Sweet Peony and Cashmere. I don't even know. It's got Peony in it. They work really well together. They combine, like I didn't have them in the same warmers, but in the same room. Mm, it was absolutely awesome. Loved it. So I got another one of Peony Petals. I have a, I ordered in her last pre-order the big bag of the Raining Lorelei scent. So I can do that combination some more. So I'm looking forward to that. And then the last thing that she sent me, they all touch my heart. Okay, Every, just, just the thought of sending me something is, you know, any, any of us who receive any kind of gift from someone, it's, it's the thought that counts, right? And the thought behind sending this to me speaks volumes. I mean, volumes, volumes, volumes. And um, kind, kind of like my sister who brought me a couple, Kim sent me Three. Three. Appealing apple. I can't thank you enough. I really can't. I can't thank you enough. I actually had moved my club from quarterly to monthly just so that I could st start stocking up on my appealing apple. So I'm paying more for the wax than if I had it in the quarterly, right? Because I'd only be paying it once every three months and now I'm paying it every month. I did dwindle it down, but I only have a peeling apple as one bar in there. So I was like, I can't do one a quarter. It's just not, you know, so I did move it to monthly. I'm probably going to, um, well, it already processed for March. I haven't figured out if I'm going to leave it in April or if I'm going to go ahead and move it to either bi-monthly or quarterly, especially now that my sister gave me two and Kim sent me three. That's, that's five more than I had. And I think I only had one originally in my stash. And then I moved my club for February and March. So that's two more that I have. So you would think that's enough. You know, many other scents, I'd be like, oh yeah, I'm stocked up. I could take it out of my club. No, not with a peeling apple, not for me. I mean, I was using, I'm, I'm not kidding. If I went back through my inventory of what I used in every month, last summertime kind of thing, and you know, that span of, let's say, April through August kind of, not that that's summertime, but um, in that time frame, let's say, I probably used three to four a month. Um, so yes, I know I need to, I'm gonna have to kind of cut that back and maybe do one a month, but even at one a month with what I have and what I've been gifted between my sister and Kim, that would get me through this year or this summertime for me. Um, if I use one a month, if I, make myself only use one a month. Um, so I am so thrilled. And then hopefully the one every two or three months would at least get me going for next year. And, um, I might have to, again, move it like closer to every month as it gets closer. But, um, anyways, that's what I got from Kim. I am so, so thrilled. I am so touched The generosity, the kindness, the love is overwhelming. Um, like I said, just the idea of a gift is so sweet and so special. But 
to go the extra mile and send me something that she knows that I just love and that I miss very much. And, you know, to send me three means that's three less that she has. And Kim, I hope, I hope that I didn't completely dwindle you out of appealing apple. I hope it's in your club also. And, um, thank you so much. Thank you so much for finding, finding it in your heart to part with those three bars for me and, and the other ones. I thoroughly, 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 um, feel the love and I give it right back. Thank you so much, Kim. And to everyone else, I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Don't forget to, you know, however it's best for you to share some love with someone, whether it's just a smile, helping them move something, waving at them. You know, you never know how it can affect someone. It doesn't have to be some huge gesture every little bit helps every kindness is something that someone is in need of and um y'all do it for me all the time i thoroughly thoroughly love hanging out with all of you and um i'm i'm rambling at this point i need to go <laughs> so anyways hope that you're having a great day thank you so much kim i appreciate it and i will talk to everyone soon bye